Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, I will make a reverse engineering of this Packers tool using the source image file in SolidWorks. So now let's start. Now after opening SolidWorks, I will check here new part. Then after that I will take a sketch in my front plane. Then I will choose sketch picture. If you don't uh, found it, uh, you can from here uh, check sketch picture. From the search, uh, you will find it from uh, sketch here. From this uh, arrow, you will find or you will press commands. Then after that, you will drag and drop it to be like this. Then I will press OK on it and I will choose my source image file. The first step I will make a rotation to this image 90 degrees. Mm, I need it uh, to be in the opposite direction so I will uh, press here not like this. It's like this, yes. I need it to be in the right uh, portion. I will draw from here. Okay. Uh, my next step is pressing OK, then go to my next step. I will draw a line from my beginning here. From here to here. I must make this line to be horizontal. The image seems uh, to be uh, not uh, horizontal exactly, so I will change my angle mm, about one degree. Yes, now seems to be adjusted exactly in the center. I will adjust this line at the first of uh, my uh, tool, also, this one. Yes, it seems exactly at the beginning. Then I will make my smart dimension tool and uh, measure my dimension. My dimension here uh, is uh, 885 point, uh, approximately 0. 0.5. Okay. My next step is making a scale to my image. To be as the real image, 885.5 is too large. Okay, so I will press double click here. I will uh, first uh, give you uh, a quick brief on the properties here. The first two uh, icons are uh, here the, the origin uh, x distance and here the y distance. Okay, also uh, the next one is the angle. As we bought it before and here uh, this is the actual uh, lens of the image okay uh, here is uh, the width and here is uh, the height but after rotating the image uh, becomes flipped so this is the height and this is uh, my width okay so I need uh, to decrease this width to be uh, 350 which is uh, my lens of this tool okay so I will multiply this by 350 then I will make a division by 885.5 which is the measured lens from the image okay so I press ok uh, then after that to check that my lenses are correct and I made the scale correctly so I will here change this dimension to be 350 then move this line from here I will move it yes I made the scale now correctly the next step is some adjustment uh, I will change my scene from here to be plain white to look uh, more uh, clearly uh, then I will make this line to be centered in my origin so I will 
select my midpoint and press control and select my origin and press make coincidence then I will double click here and drag my image to look exactly in the center just like this yes now I adjusted my image so I will press OK first step we will make this line construction geometry then I will draw of uh, this cross section first thing I will draw a line like this I will make this line fixed uh, sorry this point then I will delete this dimension the only important thing is uh, to make my shape is, uh, becomes fully defined like this uh, then after that I will use a spline I'm trying to get the best results from uh, my image Okay, I will fix also this spline. Now I can make uh, an arc. Like this. Also I will fix it. Then now I will draw a line like this this is uh, what actually I see uh, it may be not appear uh, exactly here but uh, the ship uh, is in front of me so I think this cross section nearly the same after that I will complete drawing the cross section I will draw until the origin point okay I think I need uh, to decrease my height yes like this and make it horizontal decrease a little bit then I will fix my line okay then I will draw a line from here from the origin to this point I will make it vertical and construction geometry ok uh, then after that I will make a mirror for this profile about this axis or this center line I can uh, make hide to the image from full image I can change my transparency like this or more like this okay then I will check I will select the contour only and the press control select this line okay and mirror it will appear like this uh, after that I will close my contour just like this I can check uh, shaded sketch contours okay to uh, make sure that my contour uh, is ready to revolve feature so after that I will make revolve I will choose my axis this line then the shape already previewed so I will press ok after that uh, I see uh, there is uh, some sharp edges here so I may add uh, some fillets here but I forgot uh, from the image uh, there is a little bit groove like this here uh, so I can make a separate feature revolved cut 
or I can add it uh, to the feature I already made but uh, it's okay to, ma to make uh, a new feature from here I will press my image and decrease the transparency again and I press ok and I press show the sketch and I will press tab from my keyboard to hide the body then edit my sketch ok and draw a line from here like this I can make extension to this line to be like this ok that's fine then I will hide my sketch ok and fix this fix the shape ok to be fully defined uh, after that I will show again my image looks fine ok for now I will make convert entities and make it construction then I will select all and press mirror so it mirrored in the opposite side also I will convert this axis ok and make it construction then from here I will choose revolve cut but before making a revolve cut feature I will from here make show to my body and from here I will hide the revolve feature the revolve feature sketch then choose revolve cut I will choose this axis then he will cut in this body yes as you see then I will add fillets from fillet feature I will add the fillets small radius about one millimeter yes something like this also these edges also I will select and instead of selecting edges I can select this face so he selected both edges also I will select this and this yes also I can here select this edge and this edge also this edge and this edge then I will press ok uh, the last step I will make adding a suitable appearance which is wood from here I will choose organic folder from appearances uh, and press on wood I will select the polished beach 2d and choose part I need to color my part okay then from here the view settings I can choose the real graphics view okay uh, the image now seems uh, more realistic but this sharp edges or these edges uh, make the design shape not realistic so I will from display style choose the shaded only see the difference also I can make shadows and ambient occlusion if the shadow uh, not adjusted I can check from here and go to scenes and edit scene he automatically rebuilds uh, the shadow automatically from the bottom view plan he takes the, the minimum uh, plan which is the floor for me so I will press ok at the end of this tutorial if you learned something new please give a like and subscribe for my new channel also if you have any questions let me know in the comments and see you in the next tutorial.